All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Traffic Life here. Uh, we're back on Final Fantasy V. Um, so we've met a couple characters, a pirate, a princess, and an old man. Oh, and a guy with a choker phone, just a wander in. Adventurer. Um, the wind has stopped, and yet we're on a boat that sails because it's on a dragon or something. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue forward, uh, see what kind of mischief we can get into. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and then leave me a comment. Let's go. All right. Captain, shall I sell her to the wind shrine for you? Say no. Alright, so instead, you're gonna go up to the west. I think it's gonna be up here. Alright. No. Actually, I want to look at equipment real quick. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, no, it says that we should take off the leather cap, leather cap and give it to Flaris. Is that correct? Alright, so Otto might join you. He has some really nice gear equipped, but he's missing headgear. Okay, so. That's, that's gonna be our major attacker. Got it. Grog, grog. Okay. I think I'll stop in and have a drink as well. Okay. Uh, you look a little wet behind the ears. How's about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Yeah, I reckon so. First, shut your eyes. Can't have just anybody. Figure out where it's at. It's not hard to find. All right, here we are. Green Horns Club. Howdy, I assume you're new to this adventuring thing, right? Yes. All righty, then come on in. Okay, uh... Investigate down portion tent. Cool. Either a hundred gil. Cool. Got a lot of nice stuff there. Uh, Trap! Monster attack! Not much of a monster. Oh, I just got goblin punched. So we have an equipment weight. I'm not happy about that, I don't think. Okay, so check your side quest. Uh, okay. Oh, 
talking about. Once you're done shopping, so let's talk to everyone, huh? There's a chest like me. Sometimes I have goodies inside. Why don't you try having a look-see? I already did. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Cool. Uh, uh, damn it, sorry. For example, try walking through the wall on my left. They just can learn the ability to find passages and they can see secret passages with no trouble at all. That might be important. Would you like an explanation of the job? But it says not. Yeah. The fragments of these shattered crystals are imbued with the power of legendary warriors. The four chosen by the crystals are granted use of those powers in the form of jobs. Oh. Okay. By assigning jobs of four characters can gain special abilities corresponding to the jobs. Kind of like, I think, two or three, right? Changing jobs and abilities changes the types of armor and weapons a character can equip. Don't worry, the characters automatically equip the best gear possible when they are assigned a new job. I mean, that's kind of nice, honestly. Um... <sighs> it's controlling it, by the way. I'm not controlling it. So the speed is theirs. By mixing and matching different jobs and abilities, you can create individual types of warriors, such as Black Mage, who can use the jump ability. That's weird. Or a knight who can use white magic. Let's use the latter as an example of using the jobs. So first, we'll set our job to that of a white mage. Like experience point as battles are won, you will receive ability points. With enough ability points, you'll gain the white mage ability white. Now let's switch jobs to that of a knight. Next as an next as an ability, choose white. Your equipment will automatically be optimized for the strongest combination. Now you have a success now you have successfully created a knight who can perform white magic. Yeah, I can't speed it up. This is the speaker. Okay. Oh, this is slow. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know. Do you all do that? Saving the game is something you should do often, then you'll always be able to pick up right where you left off character you usually see walking around is the one displayed at the top of the menu screen. Try changing order like this. Oh. I'm probably not going to talk to everyone. I'm going to talk to everyone here because this seems like a place you can learn stuff, but I'm, I just know if you've watched my videos before, I don't talk to everyone. I talk to who I'm supposed to. That's really it. Keeping it very simple. Okay. You can harm ghosts and the undead with recovery magic such as cure. The right putting mages and other folks with less defensive powers in the back row. Pressing back while on the menu screen, press the chain. Then press the A button. Now they're safe in the back, but they blah 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 blah. Yeah, I, 
knew that got it. It was kind of tough. I mean, I guess not at this time that the game was released. This was a new concept, which it really wasn't. Well okay, cool. your hair suddenly turns white, that means you're aging, and you'll gradually weaken. What? That's another thing. Okay. Oh, so we can't do anything with your object. Let me guess, you're gonna tell me. Inside this chest is a present for me. Ah, wait mode. The config menu, there's a setting called wait mode. You switch your battles to wait mode, and the battle will pause while you are in the magic or item windows, allowing you to take your time selecting them. Hold down the L and R button while in battle and you can try to escape, but look out, not all enemies will let you go. When your hit points begin running low, use a potion or white magic such as cure. It would come up. As about I tell you about a couple more useful abilities. I went to say no. Two-handed. With this ability, when you have one hand carrying a weapon and the other hand empty, your attack doubles. Basically, you're using a one-handed weapon with two hands so you can attack with a more powerful swing. That's cool. So long as one person in your party has sprint, you can hold down the B button to run through towns and dungeons. Just have someone in your party become a thief and you're set. Blue magic learning. Blue magic is the art of learning monsters' special techniques. However, to learn them, you need to set the blue mage ability learning and then get hit by the enemy attack. Only then can you remember it and use it against others. To use the technique, use the blue mage ability blue magic. You can learn attacks like Goblin's Punch, Goblin's Goblin Punch, a Steel Bat's Vampire, or a Mold Wind's Arrow. Cool, that's actually kind of cool. Um, you've probably noticed those numbers that pop up during battles. The white numbers are damage dealt, and the green ones are hit points regained. Okay, so we're done here, I think. Okay, so now we're going to go find the pub. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, so where's the pub? Come here, sir. Don't forget about me. Okay. Um. Buy two of these. See ya. I mean, now I can't equip you, bud. do this all day but um we're gonna go no I, I probably shouldn't have bought all that but hey we're learning so let's see shields oh he's gonna pop back up and talk to me yep I saw it coming Yeah, I know. Cool. Uh oh. So this game's gonna start slow, and you can tell. Alright. Alright. Um. <sighs> hey. Okay, so I think it was Tough Final Fantasy 2 where you bought magic. This game is the same. So, Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, Cure. So, you broke the bumper. Okay, so we need. Uh, yeah, this looks like. Oh. Yeah. It's the end, just the end. 
All right, what do you get? All right, cool stuff. Cool beans. Um, yes, I got it. So one thing that you want to do while you're here, um, why don't you just have a seat, big boy? Mm, for you, honey, we've got something special. Ooh. All right, so we got that because I'm going to play the piano. There's eight pianos in the game. You want to play them all? Cool. Um... I'm gonna go and step outside and level up. Uh, uh, let's see what we got. We're gonna fight some bad guys. I need to buy some stuff, so. Oh ho, trying to give me the slip, I think not. No, we weren't. You were just not with us. Alright, so we got kill the bees. I'll be right back. I'm going to level up and get about five, six hundred dollars. All right, be right back. Maybe more than that. All right, welcome back. Um, so, level up. I already... No, I don't want to talk to you. Dang it. I already bought my... I've already upgraded my weapons and my defense. The only thing we're getting now is magic. And I'm going to buy one of each. Okay. Um, does that give us money for today? I don't know. It does. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um. Okay. They do a little dance when they're when they wake up. Only we were all that happy when we woke up. All right. Yeah, he said that last time. Same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the winch right now. So, uh, not really sure where it is, but um. Now, all right, I'm lost. Give me a second. This is crazy. I'm trying to use two different guys. Uh, da, da, da. about five free potions. Uh, five free potions? Give me a potion. Uh, oh, I should have bought well, a ten or two, but I think I got ten, so I'm good. Hey, blah, 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 if you can tell. The wind shrine is that building on the coast northeast of Tor. Um, so I'm so way off. Okay.
damage from that. See them. Um, Western room to find a few items. Um, Princess Lena, what's happened? What's the matter? The wind suddenly stopped, and now there are monsters in the tribe. What about father? The king went up to the top floor and he has yet to return. Something must have happened to him. The crystal's up on the top floor, right? We won't, won't hard to go up and take a look. There is? Come on. Alright. So there should be a pot now. Get out of my way, people. So if you do this, you get full life. All status elements removed. So that's kind of cool. Um, uh, so then speak with the man to the left. Princess, please take these with you. Receive five potions. All right. Exit room and then go east. Get out of my way, people. Okay, so I assume we're going to go up the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so this on this floor we'll start fighting. Um, got a tent. That's always good stuff. Oh, we got a fight. A little white serpent and a black goblin. Okay. Nice, go in here. Should be a save point. This is a consecrated, consecrated circle. You may rest safely in a tent or cottage or even save your game. Um, I may push on just a little bit, but we are going to go ahead and save. Because why not? Oh, right, yes. I want to try to fight the boss, but I don't know if I have time. Time is always an issue. So, okay, we live here. Um, go east to the chest with the leather cap. I went the wrong way. Or oh, no, I didn't. That was another black goblin and, and white serpent. All right, we got another. That was a... Oh, we got something new. Uh, Mulvin. Oh, that chest contained a leather cap, by the way. Okay. Okay, so that was a Mordwin black uh, goblin and a white serpent. Um, the Mordwins can hit hard. Um, and I... I'm gonna go back because there's actually a secret. No, there's not. Uh, Black Goblin, White Serpent. Okay. So there should be a chest in here, but I think we already got broad swords. Yes. Oops, I didn't have to buy them all. Um, we're gonna stop right here. Because we have a boss. Okay, so this is not that hard. Incoming. It's a basic boss. He has... 250 life. So we'll attack. The only thing you gotta pay attention to is when he closes his wings. We do not attack him. 
he's not gonna survive very long with us. Okay, this is gonna hurt. And done. Got a phoenix down. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to leave it. We're steadily moving forward in this, so we're having fun. Um, we're going to continue exploring. The one thing I've noticed about this game, uh, the storyline feels a little bit more flowy. Like, it's actually kind of, the way they talk kind of feels better than most of the automatic things. It sounds like kind of, it feels kind of real. Um, but it's also a little bit slower, just the way that everything kind of develops. So, this one's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. Um, I like the combination of the uh, the job class while buying magic. That's okay. All right. Um, so until next time, adios, amigos.